Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Twin Flame energy reading for you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Welcome if you're new, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so so that you can see more videos like this, okay? So today, we are gonna go over the Divine Masculine's family, because in the last video, we talked about divine, uh, the Divine Masculine's karmic soulmate and what was going on there, okay? But now we kinda wanna see, okay, what does the family know when it comes to the Divine Feminine? So let's get into that today, okay? Let's get right into that. I hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Happy Father's Day, even though it's a little late. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let's see, uh, Spirit, how does the family feel about the Divine Feminine? when it comes to the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine's connection. How does the family feel about the Divine Feminine? How does the Divine Masculine's family feel about the Divine Feminine? Spirit. How do they feel about the Divine Feminine? Wow. Okay, so we got Ace of Cups, King of Cups, and Death. Okay, so the family, the Divine Feminine, the family knows that you guys were trying to rebuild this. You have Death here too. They know that you were, you were rebuilding. Basically, you had an opportunity for a new beginning with King of Cups and Divine Masculine. So you had the opportunity to build and they know it. They know that there was a, a new beginning that was given to this King of Cups. Um, twice, it looks like. You got Ace of Cups and you got Death. It looks like they know that you've given this Divine Masculine multiple times to, to mess this up. <laughs> I don't want to say to mess this up, but it looks like they, they know that there have been multiple uh, beginnings and when it comes to this relationship. So they, they know a lot, you know, they know a lot, Divine Feminine. Um, how does the family feel about the Divine Masculine's karmic soulmates uh, spirit? How does the family feel about the karmic soulmate? Because we know they, they, they know there's a lot of love here with Divine Feminine and two beginnings, two new beginnings that had to start again. But how do they feel about the Divine Masculine's karmic soulmate spirit? How do they feel about the karmic soulmate? How do they feel about the karmic soulmate? Okay, so it when it comes to how the family feels about the karmic soulmate, you got the lovers here. You have the moon. And you have page of swords in reverse. Now, I find this to be very interesting. So basically what the family is saying, guys, is like when it comes to the lovers, you know, um, when it comes to this journey, as a child, the only people that teach you what to do is your family, your teachers, the, the, your community, right? But when you find love for the first time, you're making moral choices for yourself. You're deciding what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. That's why they're almost holding hands, but not quite. They're being guided by spirit. At the same time, they have free will to do what they want to do. That's why their hands aren't quite touching yet, right? So I say that to say this. The family knows that this relationship was bullshit, okay? The family knows this was lies. You have the moon, you have manipulation, you have things that are hidden, you have illusions, and then you have page of swords in reverse. A lot of shit was being talked. People were talking shit all day about what they were gonna do, but there was never any action when it came to this relationship. I'm sorry to have to say it like that, but that's literally how that came out. It was like in this, this when it comes to the karmic soulmate, the family feels like, okay, they look like they tried to do something, but at the end of the day, it was so many lies and so much deceit and so much shit being talked and it, it, it just didn't do what it was supposed to do. Okay, I hope that, that resonated. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. What does the family feel, let's see, what do the family feel is going wrong in this connection with the divine feminine spirit. What do they feel is going wrong in this connection with the divine feminine? 
and the divine masculine if they feel anything is going wrong what what do they feel is is going wrong seven of wands too much fighting constantly fighting So you got seven of swords, four of swords, and you got four of pentacles. You got four of pierce twice. So it's like the family wants you guys to have a firm foundation because you got four, four on the board here. But at the same time, they know that you guys are fighting and you need to heal. But they want, they, it's like you're fighting, you need to heal and hold on. You know what I mean? Like the family wants you guys to hold on to each other. And I, I say it because of the four of pentacles, it's like holding on to what you have. But at the same time, because it's the four of pentacles, I feel like the family, divine feminine feels like you're actually good for them. Like just hold on. Like four and four is an empire, like firm foundation. You know what I mean? Like you're good for him. He's good for you. You guys are good together type deal. Like you guys could actually make something happen when it comes to business and that could be how the family's looking at it but they also are seeing that listen there's a lot of fighting going on here and you guys need to heal heal and hold on to one another is what the family wants you guys to do heal and hold on okay um let's see let's get one more card for you guys <laughs> what does uh spirit what is the divine i'm sorry what is this uh family How does the family feel about the divine masculine in this connection spirit? How do they feel about the divine masculine when it comes to this connection? Like, how do they feel about him? Well, I got the hangman, nine of pentacles in reverse, and five of cups. Uh, they feel like divine masculine the family feels like if you are not willing to make this sacrifice you are not going to be abundant on your own and you're going to lose out on something that you're going to regret um they truly like i said before they feel like you need to stop fighting and hold on stop fighting heal and hold on to this um this connection because right now the way they feel about you is if you don't make this decision to hold on to this connection and heal heal from whatever happened um you're not going to be abundant on your own they don't feel like you're going to be abundant on your own and they feel like you're going to really really truly feel like you know i five of cups is like yeah you're crying over spilled milk you're very upset you know what i mean you don't see the two cups in, a, in behind you and it could be that they they feel like you know this may take a while to get over if you don't get this right but at the same time they definitely feel like if you don't make the sacrifice to be with who you're supposed to be with and treat this person the way you're supposed to treat them, you're not going to be abundant on your own and you're going to lose out on one of the greatest loves. Okay? All right. Let's get one more card for you guys. Let's wrap this up. That one kind of popped out. What we got here? The world. The world. It's like if you want... What they, what the, what the family wants is for the divine feminine and the divine masculine to be together. That's truly what they want. The world popped out. They want this cycle to be over. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much it. When you look underneath it, they see what's going on with the karmic situation. They knew there that that was just all a, a basically a ball of hot air of nothing. That really didn't do much. You know what I mean? It really wasn't happiness for anyone around that board but when it comes to the divine feminine they definitely want you to step it up divine masculine you got to heal and you got to hold on to this to this connection because they feel like it definitely will keep you where you need to be and without it you're not abundant you're not happy you don't have love you have to make this sacrifice to get to the to the to get to the completion of where you're supposed to be divine masculine even your family is looking at you like you got to complete the cycle <laughs> okay all right. I hope that uh, resonated with you guys, and I truly appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.